George here. Welcome to this video where I show you how to play Bring It On Home as recorded by Sonny Boy Williamson on guitar and harmonica. Okay, so we're gonna pick out a harmonica. We're gonna choose, choose the key and then I'm gonna show you how to play the different parts to the song on the harmonica. Then I wanna show you a great, simple blues comp for this. So I, a really great, set up a really great little uh, acoustic rhythm here for this blues song. Okay, right on. So bring it on home. We're in the key of E. Now we're gonna play cross harp or second position. So what we, what we need then is an A harmonica. A harmonica for blues in E. Now I've got a, a Honer blues harp here, but any good diatonic harmonica in the key of A is gonna work for you. So the first line on the harmonica is this response to the line Baby, right? So we go, baby. So that's a draw four. So we're gonna start with a draw four with a single bend, right? We're gonna start with it bent and then scoop up to our draw four. Like that. And then we're gonna fall off. So we're gonna do that. We do that scoop up to the draw four and that's gonna last for four beats. And then we'll do it again on the downbeat of the next bar, and then we'll fall off, do a little draw four, draw three, draw two. Right, just like that. Okay, so that happens, the, the scoop to that draw four happens on the one. We're also looking for single notes here. Now if you get a little bleed, a little draw four, draw five, that's part of our blues chord. That's part of our E7 chord. So that's gonna sound all right. That's gonna fit our chord. But we're really, if we're looking for that Sunny Boy sound, we're gonna to try to get single notes. That first line. Okay? Now, so he does, he says this baby four times in the song. So we've got that line to play four times. Otherwise, after each verse, after each line of each verse, he does a little harmonica riff, just some little shots after each, each line. And the, the thing he does is every line is different. All of these shots are, he puts in just a little bit different. You know, they might, the rhythm is just a little bit different. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just pick out one particular line and use that throughout the song, okay? Just to make this easier to put together. So after his first line, after the, I done bought my ticket. I got my load, he does. Okay, so that's one, two, three, and one, two, and bop, bop, boo, da, bop, bop. Okay, so we're doing a little draw two, a little chord actually, a draw two, draw three, or a draw one, draw two. Draw two is being our main note for that. But, uh, you know, if we bleed a little bit on this, this is okay, because he's doing little chords. Again, that's one, two, three, ah, uh, one, two, ah, uh, ba, ba, boo, da, ba, ba. Okay, so after each line, we're gonna put that in. Okay, now, one other, one other part. So there's really got three parts three different harmonica little riffs we're gonna do. We're gonna do that baby response. Then we're gonna do this harp shots after each line of the verses. And then at the end, where he's going, I'm gonna bring it on home now. We're gonna take the last half of our harp shots riff, right? Just that ba, ba. So that whole riff is ba, ba, boo, da, ba, ba. We're just gonna take those last two hits, that one, two, and, and put it at the end of that, right? So I'm gonna bring it on home now. I'm gonna bring it on home now. I'm gonna bring it on home now. I'm gonna bring it on home. Okay, so we got three different heart parts. We got the response to the baby. We've got our, our full shots riff that happens after each line. And then we're gonna take the last half of that uh, this, the two shots and use that for the end of the song. Okay, so that's the harp part, A harmonica. 
Okay, now, guitar. We've got this great little blues uh, progression happening. Well, a great little blues rhythm going on. Now, it's uh, simple to play. We got only gonna ever play two strings at one time. So we're in the key of E, the main chord being E. So most of the time we're comping in E. And we do this by playing the sixth string open. And then we're gonna put our first finger here on the fifth string, second fret. So we're only gonna be strumming the sixth and the fifth strings when we're playing in E. So then we're gonna... So that's gonna be our first beat. We're just gonna do a little down up. And then we're gonna take our third finger and put it out here on the fourth fret on the fifth string. We're gonna do another little down up. Take our fourth finger and put it out here on the fifth fret. And this is gonna be our third beat. finger off and we're going to have it on this uh, fourth fret here. And that's our fourth four beats, right? So we'll start first beat. Okay, so that's when we're playing the E chord. That's when E is, the, when the chord of the song is E. Now, the next chord is A. So all we're gonna to have to do for this is take this whole riff that we just played and instead of doing it on the sixth and the fifth string, we're gonna do it on the fifth and the fourth string. So we'll be playing the fifth string open and we're gonna put our first finger here on the second fret, fourth string. Then on the fourth fret, fourth string. Fifth fret, fourth string. Fourth fret, fourth string. string down okay so that's for when we're playing in a now we have these blue songs have three chords now our last chord here is the b b7 so what we want to do here this is, this is the tricky one so we're going to start off just like we did with our e chord and have our first finger in the second fret on the fifth string and we take our third finger here and put it on the fourth fret fourth string so we're going to be playing the fifth and the fourth strings for this that, that's going to be our first beat. Then we're going to take our fourth finger here and stretch it way out here to the sixth fret on this fourth string. Okay, so I've got I've got small fingers, short fingers here. So if I can do it, you know, you can make this happen too. It takes a bit of a stretch though and some practice. So we're going to do one and two and, and then we'll take it off three and four. Great part about this thing is we only have to get this stretch for one bar. It's only going to happen for one bar in this whole song. It's right near the end. And then we're going to go to A, and we'll do that same pattern. One and two and three and four. Okay, so that mimics what we just did with that B chord. So instead of coming all the way out here to the fifth fret on that A, we'll just go back and forth between the second and fourth frets. And then we're back into our normal normal riff. So close up of the left hand on the guitar. So for our E7, we're going to put our first finger here in the second fret on that fifth string. We'll be playing the sixth string open and the fifth string. And then we're going to come out to the fourth fret here with our third finger on that fifth string. That's our second beat. Our third beat is going to be out on the fifth fret back to the fourth fret for the fourth beat. For the A, we do the exact same thing, except we use the fifth and the fourth string. So the fifth string is going to be played open. And we're going to play the fourth string, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret. same thing as we did with the E except on one string down. The B is the tricky one. Okay so we'll start here with our first finger on the 
second fret, fifth string, third finger on the fourth fret, fourth string. And we're going to stretch all the way out here to the sixth fret, fourth string, with our fourth finger. Okay, so that's the guitar progression. That's, that's, that's how we make that guitar happen. Now, the trick to this whole thing, the, the key to getting this sound right, is we've got to make it swing or shuffle. Okay, if it's just straight, well, the difference here, we got to take each bar of music. So each bar has four beats. Now we can divide each one of these beats into two eighth notes. Now, if we're playing it straight, each eighth note is worth the same duration, right? It's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's straight. Now we don't want that, okay? We want to shuffle this. We want this to kind of have this little swing happening. Now, the way we do that is we take the first eighth note and we make it like two thirds of the beat. So we make the duration of the beat of the eighth note longer. And then the second eighth note only gets one third of the beat, right? So it's like do, ba, do, ba, do, ba, do, ba, do, ba, do. So straight, it's and with the shuffle it's that's what we're looking for okay now when we're doing our harmonica shots we have to honor that right our our first shots are one two three those happen right on the beat so we don't have to worry about that but it's these offbeat shots we gotta sit back on them. We gotta lay back. We gotta wait for that last third of the beat. So, boo, ba, boo, da, ba, ba. Okay, so they're gonna come late. We gotta be a little laid back, right? And that's gonna be, give us the right rhythm to it, right? The real trick to this whole thing is getting this rhythm right. We wanna have this shuffle, swing rhythm. Do, ba, do, ba, do, ba, do, ba, do. Right, it's laid back, right? These Last, the last eighth notes of the, of the eighth note pair are coming late in the beat, okay? That's the trick. So let's put this whole thing together. We're gonna to take it slow. I'll call out the chord changes for you, all right? And we'll, uh, we'll just uh, put these pieces together. So we'll start off with a little comp, a little bar of the E comp. Baby. Short riff. Gonna bring it on home now. 
Hey, gonna bring it on home. Gonna eat on home. To be gonna bring it on home. Bring it on home to you. All right, so what I like to do at the end of that is just kind of open it up into a 12 bar blues so I can just kind of solo and mess around on that. All right, so that's Sonny Will Boy Williamson's Bring It On Home. Talked about a few different things, right? We picked out a harmonica in, in second position, cross harp. Um, we're going for single notes and we're trying to bend some of these notes, right? Um, we've got this great little rhythm going on the guitar easy easy you know just two strings at once not really difficult but the tricky part is to get this rhythm we want this shuffle rhythm we want to have the placement of the beat in the right spot right and that gives us this boo ba do ba do ba do gives us this really good blues feel right sunny boy williamson's bring it on home peace stay in tune they